Thank you, Jesus. 
praise the Lord. God, grace and mercy have brought us through. You are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, amen, amen. We hope that you all are ready to praise the Lord and listen to uh, a selection of a cappella song and a message on today. And we hope that you all had a good morning. You had a big, nice breakfast. Having a good afternoon. You already had a good lunch. And ready to be fed some spiritual nutrition from the Word of God here on Chatting from the Word. We are so delighted to be with you once again and to bring you this fine, fine program. The Lord has blessed us all with another day, my friends. All of us that is on this side of heaven for giving us another chance, another chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. And I believe we all need to take advantage of that. Take advantage of every minute, every second, every hour, and every day that the Lord gives us to try to make it right with him. Because we never, uh, never know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, with this coronavirus, COVID-19, that's going on and going around and I believe here in the U.S. of A. have killed uh, 1,068. I believe that's the last count it was. And in New York, uh, they are having problems of getting the supplies that they need to help people that are sick to deal with uh, with this disease to deal with the pandemic and uh, and uh, the, the, the president is stalling on it. I, we don't know why. But Mr. President, let Brother Oscar talk with you for a little while if you can hear me or if you all, if any of my listeners can contact Mr. President and let him know to have a heart of charity and help someone. Don't make them have to bid for things they need. Help the citizens of this fine U.S. of A. All right, we're here in Miami, Fargo, Ohio. We're doing all right this morning. It is 62 degrees, sunny, and 80% chance of rain. Now, you know what Brother Oscar feels, regardless of what's going on on the outside. It could be cutting up. It can be snowing heavy. It could be raining heavy. Winds can be blowing hard. But as long as you have a son of God within a sunny day every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, because we have the Son of God. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, all right, all right. We, we have a beautiful program for you today. We surely do. Our song for this program here would be Praise and Harmony. I look to the King. And of course, the message under grace. Under grace, and uh, we'll be coming from Romans 6 12 through 23, and Hebrews 8 5 through 13, and Hebrews 9 14 through 19. 
So, my friends, when we get to that point of the program, have your Bibles out so that you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar York. So, we have a good show for you today, my friends. So, just relax. And if you're at home, go get a cup of your favorite beverage. Coffee, tea, milk, punch, soda, pop. Uh, whatever it may be. And, and have a seat in your reclining chair. Just recline on out. Or oh, just relax on your couch and just, just lay on out. Or oh, you're at home anyway, just stretch out on the floor and just lay on out while you're listening to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on chatting from the Word. Now, if you at the if you at the gym, try to get your lean and and lean and and get your muscles and the body firm. Or if you're trying to lose some weight. And you're exercising, keep on exercising. But put the earbuds on so that you can continue on listening to your brother here. Brother Oscar York. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back. We're back. And we're glad to be back. We hope that you feel the same. And as promised, our, our selection for this program will be Praise and Harmony. I look to uh, the King. Praise and Harmony. I look to the King. And here we go. Thank you. 
the King. My friends, with so many of us so weary of this coronavirus disease, we need to look up to the King. And the King that I am talking about, my friends, is King Jesus. Only He, and only He, can make things right at this point here. We need to look up to Jesus, not Mr. President, but King Jesus. And I hope that many of you do understand that. But we that are in the body of Christ, we, we need to understand that and trust in King Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Let me remind our listeners that you are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, your brother, Oscar York, on the Therica platform where we, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian world. Yes, we are. Amen, amen, amen. We hope that you've been enjoying the program at this time, and we hope that we are uplifting your spirit today here at this afternoon hour, and we hope that uh, we are comforting your hearts when it comes to what is uh, going on here in this world today when we talk about the coronavirus and we hope that y'all are uh being obedient to what uh, the governors and others are putting out there by quarantining yourself if you're sick uh, and uh stay six i believe it's six feet away from uh, uh people when you're out there going about doing your business and that so that we can get in control of this of this disease all right all right all right it's our prayer time and if you have a prayer request that you want brother oscar to pray for here on chatting from the word you can email it to me my email address is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com now, if you happen to be listening to the show live, and we hope that many of you will start listening to the show live, you can put your prayer request in our chat room. No one there, and that's fine. But if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York three four four three at uh, gmail dot com, and if you're listening to us live, you can put it in the chat room. Before we approach the throne of grace, I would like to read from James five, beginning at verse. 13. Here James says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that you may be healed. The factual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail yet much. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as 
We are. And he prayed and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brother, if any of you do err from the truth and want to convert him, let him know that he which converts the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Amen. Again, now let us pray for those that have contracted the coronavirus and those who have lost loved ones to this disease. Let us pray for uh, the uh, president and those that are leading with him that they may handle this uh, crisis, this uh, pandemic in the right way so that uh, everyone may be helped and cared for and, and loved. Because that's one of the one of the uh, main lessons Jesus teaches in this. He teaches us about love. He teaches us to be there for one another. So let's be there for those that are going through something. And you all visit your 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 your, your elderly if they are home by themselves at this time, visit with them, help them. Uh, if they need a ride to the grocery store, uh, they need a ride to, to the hospital, they need a ride picking up their medicine at this time, uh, help them. This is what we as uh, Christians and we that's supposed to love one another should be about. And I remember Oscar thought he, he just put that in there. All right. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, we recognize that you are a good God. Father, we recognize that you are a merciful God. And Father, we recognize it's all by your grace, and only by your grace that we are here, that we are saved, and that we are on this side of heaven that we have another chance to make it right with you. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have contracted the coronavirus disease. Father, we pray that you will heal their bodies if it be your will. And Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones to this uh, dreadful disease. Comfort those that lost loved ones, Father, comfort their hearts and allow them to know if that loved one that they, that they have lost their life due to this disease or any other way they have lost their life, let them know that if they are in Jesus Christ, if they are there in his body, everything is going to be all right. Father, we come praying for the leadership of this world. We pray for the president and those that are assisting him. Father, we pray that they do what's right and care for this land, care for its citizens, help its citizens, and, uh, and help fight this coronavirus that many are contracting and many are dying for. And this is the time, Father, to help us, help those to show charity, those that they have not shown charity before. Help them to show charity. Help them to love one another, Father. And that's what the world should be doing, Father. We thank you so much for, for your son Jesus who showed us, who showed us how to love. And Father, we thank Jesus so much for that. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with them, guide them, help them through all the turmoils that they're going through, through all the, the strain that they're in, through all uh, the storms that are facing them in their lives, and even some may have the coronavirus. So, Father, we pray uh, that you be with them, help them through all the tribulations that they are going through. Allow them to know if they put their hands in the hands of Jesus, his, in, in his unchanging hands, Everything will be all right. 
Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, uh, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep it on the air. Help us to keep on uh, chatting from the Word and about the Word. Father, help us to, to be a light in every community we are heard in. Now, Father, we come praying for the message under grace. Help us, Father, to say something that may help someone that is lost out there and do not know the truth. Help us to say something that they may obey the truth and be saved. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. We want to thank you for praying along with us. And we hope and pray that we pray for something that was on your mind. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages all right all right we're back we're back and you know how we do it this is the time that i'm going to talk to everyone that listens to the program about listening to the program we hope that you listen to the program i hope that we hope that brother oscar is not spending his wheels in vain bringing this program to you monday through fridays at two and on saturday evenings at seven we hope that you're listening to our fine program, but not only listen to it, tell your friends about it, tell your, your family members about it, tell your, you and your church members about chatting from the word to listen to us here. And if you have someone that you want to win over to Christ, I believe that this program would be a good tool to use to bring one into uh, the body of Christ. So listen to us here, like us here, on chatting from the word, not only like us, followers us here, be a follower of the program. And if you have any ideas about the program, let Brother Oscar know. Email me, like I said, the email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. Now, if you want to help us out financially, if you want to help Brother Oscar here out at chatting from the word, we do have an account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal web page, and uh, when it, when you pull it up, look for us. I believe it's under my email address, which is lowercase again, Oscar York three four four three at gmail dot com. And when the page comes up, print in any amount that you desire. Now, if you ever want to talk with your brother here, you can uh, email me. Again, the email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can message me. Many have. I do appreciate all the messages I do get and I do receive. And uh, we do have a page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York. Uh, that's Oscar York Publishing.com. You can even, I believe, can, uh, Listen to the show live when you go to that page at two, and uh, and and I do have a web page. If you want to leave a line or two on our web page, you're welcome to do that. Our web page address is OscarYorkPublishing.com. But why are you on our web page? We do have a bookstore. Your brother have authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, with sale for $21.50. And my second book is A uh, Bridges of Friendship, which also sell for $21.50. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. We hope that you do. We hope that you visit OscarYorkPubsing.com and order you a book. Now, you know what Brother Oscar believes in. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. 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 Yes, it does. It comes power. So, go to OscarYourPublishing.com and order you a book. And read. Now, the internet networks that we come on, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, 
Apple Podcast. I'm having some problems here, my friends. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Part, part, let me do that again. Then the network has become more part chaser. These are Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcasts, Addicts, Farica, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store, download Farica Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look for us, chatting from Word, hosted by Oscar. And once once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when 2 o'clock comes, Monday through Fridays, and Saturdays at 7, you can be ready to hear us live and in living color. <laughs> The music that we play here on Chatter from the Word, we do not own the copyrights to none of them. But what we want to suggest that you do is support the fine artists that we are playing here on Chatter from the Word. Buy their CDs, go hear them in concert. Support, support, support. And let them know that you heard their song here on Chatter from the Word. Amen, amen, amen. We hope that you've been enjoying the show up to this point, and we hope that we would be putting a snap in your Christian walk. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are uh, back, and this is the time we do have our message. And I see time is moving on, and but what we want to do today is, of course, we are comparing being under the law and under grace. And we, we were comparing the difference between under the law and under grace. And in verse 15, and that's why we want to reference uh, our uh, text from first before we go to Hebrew. But here Paul says, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey his servants, you are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Now let's turn to Hebrews real quickly. Hebrews, I believe, (laughs) Hebrews 8. Uh, Hebrews 8. And uh, beginning with verse uh, 5. Hebrews 8, beginning at verse 5. And here the Hebrew writer says this. Who serving to the example a shadow of heavenly things? Let me show in verse 4. For if ye were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. Who serving to the example of shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For she said he, that thou makest all things according to the pattern suit to thee in the mouth. Now, I want you to pay attention here to a couple of terms here. And, and one term I, I, I want you to look at is pattern. Is pattern. And let me read some of it for Ephesus. So it, here, the Hebrew writer says, See, says he, that I make all things according to the pattern shew to thee in the mount. Now, let's go on to verse 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Now what Brother Oscar wants you all to look at here is a more excellent ministry, the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. 
Now those terms I want you to think about. Now verse 7 says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, save the Lord, when I will make when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now the terms I want you to focus on here is the first covenant was faultless. The first covenant was faultless. And then the diction terminology that we want you to look at here is finding fault with them. He said, Behold, days come, said the Lord. I will make a, and the term I want you to look at here is I will make a new covenant. A new covenant. And I want you to focus in on that new covenant. Now, verse 9 he says, Not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in that day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. Again, the main terminology or terminology or word that we want to focus on here is the covenant. The covenant. And I want you to think about those terms that Brother Oscar called out. And on tomorrow, we are going to go deep into these terms and to see the difference between the law being under the law and being under grace. I hope that we have had a good time today. We hope that uh, we are, uh, are, are trying to teach you something about being under grace. It is our time that we must close the program. And I know you all hate Brother Oscar to say goodbye because I do know you love Brother Oscar here. You love his brother here. And I know you do. And Brother Oscar, he hates saying goodbye too. But saying goodbye, we must. And I enjoyed myself today and we hope that you all have enjoyed yourself too and have been uh, uplifted, but we want to keep everyone in prayers. Keep everyone in prayers. Pray for uh, the, the, the the nation going through the coronavirus situation, and pray for those that have contracted, and pray for those that have lost loved ones. And try to be good to somebody today. Help somebody along this weary road. Amen and amen. Will you pray with me, please? Oh, Father, we join heaven now. Now, be thy blessed name. Father, we thank you for so much. Father, we thank you for life, for the air we breathe, and the sound we hear, and things we see. Father, we come praying for each listener. Father, we pray that you be with them, guys, and strengthen them. Help them to have a good evening. Help them to have a wonderful, wonderful night. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the Word. We all hope all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye. Peace and love.